four semi loads tucked away. I think there's roughly 1400 boxes per semi load. I have another one sitting here, which I don't have a trailer for. So I'm going to have to sort these boxes away into the old place, which I just have cluttered up with a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to do some reorganizing by the looks of it. A bunch of frames we built, some clutter. This is the extent of all the dead outs that I shook out this year. This pallet, this pallet, this pallet, and that. This is old equipment from the spring. And actually, this is equipment that was heavily infested with wax moth. Just looking through it, I'm quite impressed because uh, I treated it with this uh, biological Larvicide certain, certain, and I just about burnt this equipment. I just wanted to test this product out to see if it actually worked. This equipment was absolutely crawling with wax moth. We went through and we scraped out all the webbing. absolutely nothing going on within these boxes now. We did, uh, there's this we treated and we also treated another 50 boxes and actually those boxes went out to uh, welcome the bulk bees, so my bulk bee splits. My train of thought was like there's so, there so many wax moth and they're just crawling around that I did not want to expose these colonies to just this huge amount of wax moth for the wax moth ultimately just to take over the nest. So I treated all the equipment with this Sertan and I'm seeing absolutely no wax moth within those bulk bee splits. Absolutely no wax moth in this stored equipment. So I am impressed. That stuff worked. I'm going to use this from now on as long as I can get my hands on it. Every spring as we're bringing in dead oats, as the guys are scraping and cleaning up the frames, I'm going to have them give them just a quick treatment of this product just to make sure that I don't have any type of wax moth damage. Isn't that a neat trick? And that's what I'm talking about. Just things, products like this. It might cost maybe a little bit of money, but it just gives us a tool to be able to help us do our jobs more efficiently, not have to constantly battle all these conditions and just maybe help us relieve some of those conditions as we're trying to manage our investment and buy some time, <clears throat> help us, you know, adapt and kind of manage these uncertain circumstances that are coming at us. <clears throat> I'm not going to treat this equipment because we're close enough to winter now and you know by the time if there is any wax moth exposure well man winter's going to freeze it out i'm actually going to get carried to sort out all these shitty boxes burn them scrape up clean up these frames and sort them in with brand new foundation and we have the frames built just going to buy some foundation to make up boxes for splits next year as i'm looking optimistically to the season ahead. So now it's just a little quick note I thought I would drop to you. Something that worked. A little bit of good news. Not even a little bit. That's one happy beekeeper. Feeding our BCBs. And I noticed these little darlings started to really propolize these screens up. But instead of replacing them, I just put them back on, plugged up the propolis. 
but as you can see they're opening them up on a consistent basis so they close them up and then they open them up it seems like they open them up just a little bit the size of the top of your finger maybe that's all they want you can see where they kind of push back the propolis there make the syrup available so I'm thinking I'm not going to worry so much about these screens getting all propolized if they're going to be opening them up like that Like the old man must be feeling good. He's got this hay vine out, cutting all the edges around the farm, capturing every last scrap. We are going around feeding, 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 feeding. This is my Lloyd Harris Bulk B split yard. And we're going to drop a pail feed on them. I have a box and a half of extra patties. So I figured why might as well drop these patties on these colonies because these are young queens and they've probably fulfilled their first round of brood and hopefully on to their next. So if anybody's going to use them, it's going to be these units here. For the most part, I've quit feeding supplement. We are dried right up. There is no pollen left. You know, there's nothing left to supplement. So... We are ending things off. The bees have really slowed down on their patty consumption. So that is it for the patties. We are just letting them clean themselves out and get ready for winter by stowing away syrup. I want to go down into a couple of random colonies here just to see where they're at, to see if they're doing what I think they're doing. Hopefully... This doesn't put me in a bad mood. The jury's still out with these units. There's a lot of... They've done their patties. And they've organized their nest really well with the syrup. And I'll just show you as we go in here. The critical factor, though, is how are they doing with their brood nest? Just looking from the top bar... Oh, hell, let's count from the bottom bars here. Counting from the bottom. <clears throat> Damn near box of bees. Well, let's count them as a loose enough cluster I can't count. From the top bars, I'm looking down. I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five seems the bees. They look like boxes because they've been pushed down. So they've been given a pail of feed now. I'm gonna give them another pail of feed and another, and that should get them ready for winter. Some pollen in there, stored away syrup, nicely organized nest. So we have syrup food stores right out to the side here. Nice to see the pollen in the frames. We have a mature brood nest about to hatch out and anywhere it's hatching, she's dropping eggs in there. Yeah, they haven't hatched out their first round yet. So that is on the verge of emergence. It's one frame of brood. This one has emerged, and this one is right full of young larvae. And that's what I wanted to see. This is going to be all right. And this side has emerged, and she's filled it right up with eggs. So I'll use these patties. You can see her, I have my shades on, so I'll probably miss her. Okay, so there's two frames of brood on it. Let's count three here. 
This one has emerged. And I don't see eggs on this side. She's giving up space on this side. With this pail of syrup, we'll probably plug that out. And on this side, yeah, this side's right full of open brood. Oh no, there's eggs in there. She must be close. I'm not gonna disturb them too much here. No, that's it. This is full of syrup, as I would expect. So you know that nest is contracting. Uh, they're just fulfilling that first cycle of brood. So we have some nice young bees in this nest. Uh, looks like they're at least, I've seen at least two frames of open brood. That is good. So they'll use these patties, not a problem. We'll put a pail of syrup on just to provide more bulk as we get later on into fall here. It's critical they have feed stored away and cured before it gets cold. And yeah, I'm starting to feel good about these units. Let's poke down into one more. Here, let's go right beside it here. foundation I'll switch that out right now Ooh. so we have a small little patch of brood both sides here there she is right there surrounded by pollen surrounded by capped honey Let's see what she's doing for us. So that brood is emerging and being followed up with eggs and larvae. She's doing a great job. As this is emerging out, there's eggs and then more mature larvae as it goes in. So she is preparing this, and same on this side. She is managing this nest absolutely brilliantly. All right, good slab of brood on there. As on this side, this side's emerging. And followed up with eggs. Boy, she's traveling. These little conas are spitfires. Just love them. This side is backfilled with nectar. A little bit of, not sure what's going on with this frame. Looks like it needed to be called out. I'll move it to the outside, maybe. And we're into honey stores. So what I'm going to do is, what am I gonna do? I'm going to center them first off. Provide them with an empty frame, which will likely get filled up with syrup, but who knows. It's a good frame. All right. These are going to be nice nuked sized wintered colonies with Spitfire Queens ready to explode next spring. Can't wait to see them come April. <laughs> 